back to back. Some of you might have seen them from the days of Evo, the debut for a lot of people of Tekken Master back in the MKX. They have been rivals ever since, and that rivalry no doubt continues here. But the first time I've ever seen them play against each other in Mortal Kombat. I, I think this is probably the first time they've ever played an MK1, so all eyes on this match for sure. Starting off strong though is Tekken Master and the hard to blockable already comes through. Tekken Master with that much needed combo breaker. Tekken Master is the kind of player who will be absolutely prepared though when it comes to tournaments. So I do wonder what Tekken Master has been cooking up strategy wise to dealing with this very prominent team of Sindel Kung Lao that isn't the most common team. There's only a handful of players that really play it. Sonic Fox obviously the one we see the most at the highest level these days. But uh, Tekken Master will be prepared. Gets the corner already, though. We don't have a Cyrax to spend, and even if we did, I yep. think Tekken Master would have favored the chip damage afterwards. We're going back to that mid-screen. The dash-in breaker from Fox. The confidence has made comebacks from far bigger differences. Oh, tried to fish for that forward one again. Such a good normal. Not going to happen. Crucial flawless block again. You notice, look at how long that cooldown is on that Cyrex chopper. Tekken Master cannot overcommit to anything right now. Oh, what a choice! I love that. Chooses to go for the spin the moment Cyrex returns. That was like so long, just waiting out the cameo recharge and then letting it go. Sonic Fox had so many good flawless blocks, but we were saying earlier how tough it can be to flawless block that spin in the air. The down one, but that will become safe thanks to that spin there from Cyrax. Sonic Fox with the armor is an interesting situation because should Sindel get the armored interruption on that down forward too, gonna get possibly a low hat situation. So the reward is gonna be more than just damage and Tekken Master knows that. Oh, anti. the dash under? That would have been such a nice anti here. Yeah. Yep, instant break. Sonic Fox was 100% gonna pick up off that low hat. Ooh. Oh, oh, I, love, I love the timing of the call though on Tekken Master, so that armor didn't work. Obviously, it didn't quite work out in the round, but Tekken Master with the knowledge. What it's matter this time? Sonic Fox cleans up the round. It's something that's kind of rare from Baraka Cyrax. Even back when it was a lot more prominent, is that players would almost never go for the spin early to make the gap non-existent. Really, it's not something I've really seen. What's well, the trade-off, right? Like, the earlier you call Cyrax Chopper, the less plus you will be at the end of the block string. So it's like, you trade significant advantage for covering the, the, you know, the gap that has the armor uh, possible. Just a pure jump in. The breaker. I mean, pretty good for Tekken Master. He wasn't going to turn that into a full combo. So getting three bars out of Sonic Fox is quite the victory. And these projectile trades will favor Baraka also. His Blade Spark does more damage. However, the jump in, that low hat isn't quite what it once was. But if you press a button, you're still landing on it and getting punished. But we've seen the reward Tekken Master will get. Yeah, Baraka, that, that jump is so strong, Ooh. but instant confirm. Oh no, a drop combo from Sonic Fox. Hang on, a lifeline thrown to Tekken Master. That is huge because you have missed out on so much setup. Uh -oh. Is that gonna work? Yep, 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 100%. All right, not only is this gonna do damage, but that chip damage debuff is activated and Cyrax has two stocks. Cool, we've seen how good Sonic Fox has been at playing that distance game, so I, I don't imagine the chip damage will play too much of a factor here. Unless Tekken Master, oh, I love that choice. Unless he does exactly what he just did. Instant Cyrax to cover the wake up, jumping behind it. That was so smart. And now, advantage Tekken Master. Oh, oh is that gonna work? No! Too slow, unfortunately. That idea was so good, but the spin was far too active. Can you believe that was just game one? I can. That was game one. I, I, I can because it's Sonic Fox and Tekken Master. Good morning, everyone. But, but this, this and by everyone, I'm talking to this lovely crowd that we have here. No, this, this is a crucial match, though, because we haven't mentioned it yet. These are two players in the group who are currently undefeated. Two set wins apiece, so whoever wins this will be the only undefeated player left in the group. And uh, I don't want to say guarantees them for the groups, because the math escapes me, but definitely a pretty darn I mean, good it puts spot. puts you in a bloody good situation, doesn't it? More about that later. The delay down, or the back three. This time the Cyrax comes forward. Nothing really significant and a massive delay. That Cyrax isn't going to be back for some time. Tekken Master has to navigate this minefield all on his lonesome. Oh, all right. That's a good, good start there. 
Oh! Ooh, didn't get there in time to whiff punish, but Sonic Fox finished the string, anticipating the whiff punish. Getting the trade. Oh, full hit there, though. Not massive damage, but the corner. Both of these players won each round so bad. They break without hesitation. Well, they're two teams that don't exactly struggle to build meter, so I do understand it, too, especially Baraka. Unless you're flawless blocking everything, he is going to just build bar like nobody's business. That oh, was the safest thing he could do. If he dedicated to a button, that hat was going to hit him. He had to block it, and he had to just try and get maybe a flawless block or something. All right, hit confirmed there from Sonic Fox. What's it going to be? I'm sensing a low hat, maybe. I love that choice. Instant armor from Tekken Master. I always wonder if cancelling the float was maybe to bait that, but just could not land in time. Maybe. Either way, not that it matters. The Sonic Fox is looking really good in this game. Oh, and this time, let go of the low hat immediately. That, that would have been an armor break situation if Tekken Master hadn't delayed. Oh, hang on a minute. Yeah, has to break, but this is one-touch territory now for Sonic Fox. Tekken Master did go for the earlier Cyrax release to try and make it not as armorable, but it did result in a punish. Oof! Brave stuff. But with so much meter and so much life to work with, this is going to be, yep, so hard for Tekken Master. I saw that cheeky little smile from Sonic Fox say, you're not getting away with that. You're not allowed. 1-1, one, one, mate. Sindel. Pretty dynamic match so far, though. Tekken Master doing a lot of jumps at that perfect range that we know. That you're, just, you're looking to jump over fireballs, you're looking to jump over you know, the, the instant air, the lows. And on one good read, you're going to get a huge payoff for it, but... All right, here goes the barrage of standing fours. And if you do the down back one, it is gapless. Again, the instant break you were saying, not wanting to forego any of that advantage or life lead or anything like that. Ooh, back to back. Ooh, wow. But now because the break, not a lot of resources to extend off of that read, but still somewhat of a life lead. Ooh, big punish. I like that choice. That jump back into spin is looking like a pretty reliable option here. Didn't even want to risk it. Didn't yeah. want to risk it, and I respect it. I'm just going to go back to mid-screen, please. Delay grab. We've actually been seeing this all day from Tekken Master. Whenever Tekken Master has a lead and a lot of advantage, just backing off with it. And normally, Baraka Cyrax, not a team with a significant amount of full screen presence, but Tekken Master, so confident in his patience as a player to make that distance work. Oh, what a block. block! I don't even know where that hit. But the meaty comes through and the breaker. Will Tekken Master use it? Chooses to. Risky business. Oh, that's going to work! That's going to work! No, it's too fast! Oh, it's too fast! I actually think that was a that was a spacing thing. I think like that was definitely in time to actually punish it, but not at that range, not get hit by the low hat, right? That would have had to have been further away, but Tekken Master went for it so close, but so far. I honestly Fox. totally understand Tekken Master going for it. That's actually something that he did at UFA consistently with the Johnny Cage teams with the Lao, was using it reactionarily. You've got to be so fast with that, but either way, the South Fox. Oh, armor, break. armor broken. This is going to be the round, actually. 2-1 now for Sonic Fox. Your life for Outworld. Brutality. Sindel wins. That was a quick game, though, out of nowhere. Sonic Fox just started. It's, it's a matter of momentum, right? When you're playing a team like this, the Sindel Lao is so good at when you have the hit, really kind of snowballing it into more damage, but can at times be a bit iffy to find the hit at distance, but I think with this kind of matchup, Your Tarkat, you are given just trading at range so much from, like, Baraka Projectile, Sindel Low, whatever it is that eventually you're going to close the distance. Yeah, Baraka's, unless he's got a massive lead, he's got to go in at some point. And if you have, like, the armor breaks ready to go, you're good at reading up blocks whenever you go for like, the back two float and stuff like that. Sorry, Fox is just finding a snowball rolling, and it just gets bigger and bigger. There's a whip punish. Now back to character select, just to give a little bit of time, I think, for Tekken Master. Just go for a bit of a refresh before we go into what could be our final game here. Big jump in, but again, the safety. Fox, far too low to the ground. The grab, just to be a little bit more safe, I suppose, in that. A bit of hesitation, not sure if it was punishable. Ooh, nice catch there. Better than nothing. That would have been a whiff otherwise. Tekken Master. Ooh, that throw tech, so quick. Oh, but the instant catch, Sonic Fox. Wake up buttons with counter hit. 
Cyrax not doing much here at the moment. Again, has to be safer on the jump. Oh, punish. Patience. No, but no! no punish! That is unfortunate to say the least, because now, I mean, last breath isn't going to apply in this matchup. We're not on the final round. You can't get hit. Hang on, hang on, gets underneath. Yep, Sonic Fox has to break. Fatal Blow is real now. Oof. But you can't take low hat, that's the problem. You can't take any damage. Oh, caught with the down three and match point Sonic Fox. I get it. You know that Tekka Master was trying to flawless block those projectiles, but just couldn't find it. Oh, Cyrax got hit behind. Oh no. That's Cyrax. bad. Yeah, with, that's with, bad. But with the already long delay on the chopper, he's not going to be back for a while. There he is, but I mean, he's out for the count. He might be gone for the rest of this match, depending on Sonic Fox momentum. Keep this combo. All right, we're going to get some decent damage from this. Cyrax, he's going to be back any minute. And there's a confirm, but with no meter, we can't get anything from it. We trade the projectiles, that's good for Tekken Master. That isn't, uh -oh. though, that is so bad. <laughs> okay, just cashing out on damage. I don't believe this does enough, but this will leave Tekken Master low enough that low hat's a threat, any individual projectiles a threat, chip damage could be a problem. I mean, there, there's some bar, but you can't take any hits on the way in. I on the flip that. side, one reactionary fatal blow will kill Sonic Fox as well. Oh, try to try to flawless block. That had to have been a flawless block attempt. And so ends the first set in MK1 of Sonic Fox and Tekken Master. A 3-1 finish.